Welcome to Bike Racing Without Mercy. And today, on the deck, is a Zwift Classics training. It's a race training. I did one last week, and really interactive. It's really good fun. It's calibrated to everybody's FTP. So, so long as everybody hits their own individual prescribed power settings, everybody stays together throughout the training. And it's meant to replicate the final kind of 45, 50 minutes of a classic. So we get to miss out the first five hours. Today is the Ardennes classic. Doesn't look quite as bad as the Corburg classic last week, but looking forward to it. Morning, Agnes, how are you? This is a good group training ride. Um, definitely worth jumping on. It calibrates your FTP. It's a lot of fun. It's a very interactive race training. Um, and it doesn't look too bad today. The one last week was really, really tough. This one looks all right. How are you today anyway? So Mike Dodson and Radek Moroz, or Radoslaw Moroz, are joining today. Thank you, Jane. She's upstairs doing her body weight exercises. But I really enjoyed it last week because throughout the training, Zwift kind of puts up lots of prompts on the screen to describe kind of what the effort relates to in terms of the race. You know, for example, if you're attacking or following on or hitting a hard climb, that kind of thing. Hi, Joe. How are you today? How's Sophia? Is she any better? Still on the road to recovery, hopefully? Fingers crossed. Feeding the cats. I love cats. I'm a cat person, more than a, uh, more so than a dog person, Agnes. Hi, Giacomo. How are you? Yoga flow. It's a yoga kind of morning. Jane's going to be, uh, sorry, Jane's going to be doing a little bit of yoga later. <laughs> Hi, Scott. You should jump on this training, actually, Scott. It's a good one. It calibrates a race simulation to your FTP. And today's one isn't too bad. Look, the one last week, the Corberg Classic, was horrendous. And no, I think this is gonna freshen up my legs for our little showdown tomorrow. Do check out Com Hunt. Com Hunt TV, it's Scott's new channel. And it's a channel with a twist, it's very, very fun, funny. But it's bringing together a community of little com hunters. Mike, now Mike Dodson's doing the, the training with me. We did it both uh, last week. And um, it's fair to say, Mike, last week's Corberg Classic training was horrendous. And Mr. Cycle Nutter, Giacomo, Check out his channel, Cycle Nutter on YouTube. And there's another one where Cycle, uh, Cycle Nutter does feel good kind of montages. And they're very, very nice as well. So it's two channels. Are your legs warmed up, Mike? <laughs> the best. <laughs> Radoslaw, Radek. Now, Radek, previously your name has come up as Radoslaw, and on the Zwift race results is Radoslaw. But is it Radek or Radoslaw? Radoslaw is also joining us, or Radek is also joining us on the group training. And Radek has um, embraced Ed Laverack's polarized training. He's done the Superman on more than a couple of occasions. And um, yeah, 
his power has gone through the roof with Polarized. Hi James, morning. Thank you ever so much, really appreciate that. It's very, very nice of you. Welcome on board. And Kev. Yeah, feeling good actually. Um, today's training shouldn't be too bad. I think last week's Korberg Classic. Ah, so I was right with Radislaw, thank you. Nice one, are you looking forward to the training Radislaw? Mahane, top of the morning to you. Um, I use a smart bike, it's the Atom. But to be honest, if you've got your normal bike and you connect it up um, via a Wahoo kicker or a Trax or something like that to Zwift, it's just as good. Um, it's really um, driven by your budget. The Watt Bike Atom's about 1,600 pounds, but a good smart trainer, like a turbo trainer, like a, a Wahoo is about 1,000. So anyone who still wants to join this group race training, jump on Zwift now. It starts in 10 minutes, and there's a nice little warm up beforehand. And the efforts don't look too bad. And provided everybody has, well, hits the prescribed efforts, and the efforts are calibrated to your own individual FTP, we all stick together. <laughs> Scott, I just seen your question there. Yeah, I think you know what an FTP is. And I'm guessing yours is a big number. And I'm hoping mine's a bigger number on the WKG. <laughs> so Scott, are you actually gonna hunt a KOM today? Or just tool around mine head in the Tesco's? And maybe a run, a bit of cyclocross along the beachfront. Yeah, they're a lot of money, um, all the smart traders. But the thing I like about the Watt Bike Atom is it's 1,600 pounds and it's easy and ready to go. Whereas, and it's been very low maintenance. Morning, Stefan. How are you today? Pleasure, always a pleasure to give a ride on. And feel free, you've still got eight minutes to join this group training. It's not a race. It's a group race training. And if we all stick to our FTP, sorry, the prescribed settings in terms of power that are calibrated to our FTP, we all stay together. So I've got Mike Dodson, did this training with him last week. Radislaw's on the deck. Radislaw beat me in the Zwift Bologna Classic last week with some sensational WKG. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that, James. Yeah, I mean, that would be beyond frustrating. Um, yeah, I mean, it's whether or not it's spare parts or you just get, I don't know, a, a cheap bike, like a really cheap bike to attach, because it sounds like it's the chain rather than the uh, trainer. Gotta have my pre-workout. Now Scott, this isn't a monster. Maybe I'll have one of those tomorrow. See what it's like. An ice cream van. <laughs> well, if you find an ice cream van, Scott, have a 99 of me. And there's nothing better than a 99. I don't think you'll find an ice cream van though. Yeah. Agreed, Mike. This one doesn't look as disgusting as last week, that's for sure. No, Radislaw. 
your power was very, very good. It was 4.8 watts a kilogram. Um, over about the, uh, I think it was just under 20 minutes, the whole, no, not even that, it was like 16 minutes. Yeah, I thought Scott was Australian. Giacomo, yeah. <laughs> In fact, my partner Jane thought he was Australian too. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm looking to do another one of these next week, Kev. For sure. Morning, Tim. Hope the recovery is progressing well. Ha, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have the same problem in. Sometimes I'm on a laptop, my iPad and my little iPhone, watching all the different streams. I love watching the streams. Tim, this is the, um, the classic training that I'm suggesting Mr. Pritchard does. I reckon if Pritch did one of these classic trainings, and they're in the afternoon as well, because he's not really a morning person, but well, he is a morning person because he's got young kids. But he prefers to live stream in the afternoon. Um, I reckon loads of us would take part in that. Home and away. Nice. I've got to say, I was more of a neighbour's person, Scott. Much more of a neighbour's person. And I was in the... I've got to, I've got to admit my age here, it was when Charlene and Scott was a thing. I think it was Scott, wasn't it? The guy with the long hair, Jason Donovan. Didn't they all have long hair? There's one with Henry who had long hair and a perm. I think, I've got to go to the event. It'd be quite remiss to have... That's right, Agnes. Too many screens, too many live streams, but I tell you what, it's made up for the lack of sport. I know Tim, you tend to deploy your biggest power in the evening on CV Arcade. So Scott, you haven't been tempted. Now I've got to say, while, while I'm in, in the warm up, I'm going to turn off the air for a big announcement. Scott has challenged me to a race. It has to be a flat race. Because as you'll see on Com Hunt TV, Scott doesn't like the inclines, not the comms of the inclines. I never knew, Scott, that there was such a thing as a flat KOM. I thought the smallest KOM was something like Box Hill or something like that. But now I know, having watched your channel, that there are such things as flat inclines. Yeah, Tim, it is spicy, but last week, as uh, Mike Dodson will tell you, was hell. It was really good fun though. So, Scott challenged me to a race, a flat race. It had to be flat, as I say. He doesn't do KOMs with the incline. So tomorrow, 9 a.m., we're doing the 3R Tempest Fugit flat. We're gonna pit Scott's big power, and he does have big power. He may, he may um, underplay his power on Comhunt TV. But I think there is a 2,000 watt sprint in there, or isn't there something, Scott? Versus my, well, let's say unimpressive sprint. And um, higher watts per kilogram. Now I've got a bit of a problem here with the bike. Having just said how much I love the reliability of the watt bike. Let me make sure I'm not on ERG mode or something ridiculous. Um, settings. How do I, oh jeez. No, don't put me on ERG mode. Oh, I know how to do it. It's already back. This is always a high stakes. ERG is on, I knew it. That's it, that's it, Giacomo. The flat inclines. I think they call them uh, the mountains of Holland or something like that. <laughs> 12 miles is 10 too long. So yeah, there's gonna be a showdown. 
my little watts per kilogram versus Scott's shock and awe power. Alejandro, thank you very much for joining. Yeah, Tempest Fugit is a really good race course. And I know, Alejandro, I promised, I promised us a race. I'm not the best racer or fitness guy in the evening, but it will happen. Yeah, I've got to say, I, I have, I don't like ERG mode for training, unless you're doing really long efforts. To my mind, there's too much of a lag between the prescribed power going up and ERG reacting. Much better, I think, to select your own gears and have a bit of snap from each segment. And because Ed's been giving me my polarized training programs and I haven't downloaded them into Zwift, um, all of his stuff I do without ERG. And I tell you what, I reckon I've had much better fitness gained as a result of that punch and that snap. Obviously combined with Ed's training than if I kept ERG on. That's it, the Dutch mountains. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think, I think Scott, oh, sorry. This isn't as with race as I say. This is a group training with quite a long warm up in all honesty. Now, if I was on my own, I just fast forward through that bit, having done the warm up. Hi Alex, no racing today. It's a race training, it's like a group training. It's called um, the Zwift Classics and it's the Ardennes Classic. And you can see on the screen that they're kind of putting lots of little prompts to explain what's going on. And as we get into the meat and bones of the workout, so long as you hit your prescribed power, you all stay together. And the prescribed efforts all replicate different parts of a race. Now today, the efforts look relatively easy. Last week on the Korberg Classic, they were disgusting. But, as I was saying, Alex, on the deck tomorrow is a flat race pitting myself against Scott from Comhunt TV. And anybody else who wants to join, of course, a nice flat race. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Scott, I've never seen a close up of somebody's nose and sniffing on YouTube, so congratulations on a first. In fact, when you look at your channel, Scott, there are many firsts. Many of them very, very funny. Some of them very, very funny and quite controversial. Love it. Yeah, the speed is low, but I've got to say to him, and Mike will bear this out. And, and Mike, after last week, you should turn off your ERG because you said it, you got snared up. When we, hit, when we hit the sprint. Last week, you didn't care what speed you were going. It was the horrific intervals. You're doing like 415 watts into 360, that kind of thing. Whereas this week, um, it does look a lot more civilized. Let's put it that way. And Zwift Awards, obviously, the stars. Sorry, this is a very boring, boring warm-up. <laughs> I'd forgotten about the warm-up. <laughs> but when you get into the actual race, and the reason I've live streamed this is I do think it is one of the best Zwift trainings that I've ever seen. So Scott, other than the ice cream van visit, is there actually going to be a KOM attempt anytime soon? <laughs> 365 FTP. 
Well, Mr. Giacomo, maybe try a 5k round with your bike on your back. A bit of cyclocross. I understand that's a thing in mine head. So Alex, how's your training going at the moment? I've seen some increasingly big rides on Zwift. And I've got a lot of, a lot of respect for Alex because Alex reached out to me many months back and he said, Phil, you've got to stop doing all this sweet spot and zone four stuff. You're just fatiguing yourself and you're going to make much faster progress with a more polarized approach. And that kind of coincided with Ed talking about it. And so Alex, as ever, hugely grateful to your advice. It's been transformational. Yeah, that's a really good question, Rodri. I really love um, the outdoor races when there is a bit of an incline. So, um, where I really got nearly all my points, other than when I had a crash when Tim was there, um, was Hog Hill, where you've got this really nice steep hill. It's a bit like the leg snapper in um, Innsbruck Flat. And yet you hit that hill something like 17 to 20 times in a one hour crit. And there's another little intermediate hill straight after it, just like the leg snapper, only the whole circuit's about two kilometers, so you're doing it a lot more than a leg snapper. And I love that course, and I really enjoy the racing there. It isn't as dangerous. There isn't as many crashes. Albeit I did crash there, but that was more wind orientated, a massive crosswind. Whereas on the, some of the flatter crit circuits, I find them quite intimidating. I mean, you'll see in my last um, vlog where I did a race outdoors, it was on um, the circuit at the Velo Park. And I love the Velo Park circuit, it's quite undulating, but the hill isn't big enough to trouble um, those with the bigger power, but maybe the bigger weight. And there's tons of people kind of packed into a relatively thin track. And so, I find it really hard to break away. In fact, well, obviously I can't break away. I'm not powerful enough to do that. And if I stay in a bunch, I just get destroyed in the sprint. So I think overall, in terms of crits, I prefer Zwift. If I had to pick one and CV Arcade. I really enjoy the CV Arcade racing because you have to steer. The draft impact is much more realistic. Uh, and when you want to pass someone, you have to ride out to the side and pass through. There's Radislaw in the orange. Yeah, so definitely on balance, I think, Zwift. But there is a big but. Really looking forward to the hill climbing season and some of the outdoor longer events, more of the stage events and the climbing races. And so I'll see how they are. But you can't, you can't beat the convenience and the fun of Zwift and also the community. Nineteen hour week, Alex. That is insane. So, will that contain polarised training as well as um, a lot of kind of steady estate stuff, Alex? Yeah, I'm guessing you're a lighter rider then, Rodri. Hi Josh, how's it going? You should jump on this uh, training next week. If you're up in time that is, Josh, because of course you are a young lad. Although Giacomo is up, and he likes nine to 10 hours. Giacomo from Cycle Nutter, YouTube, he likes nine to 10 hours of sleep a night. Oh to have nine to 10 hours of sleep a night. Okay, so after the world's longest warm-up, Radislaw, Mike and I 
will be embarking, hopefully, on some more disgusting efforts. Although, like I say, these are not parental advisory. So there's a decisive breakaway attempt. And so these are the kind of the, the prompts that I think are so cool in the Zwift Classic. And throughout the Korberg event, they were coming up the whole time. Alejandro, massive continents apart, must be at least nine or 10 hours difference. Thank you ever so much for joining. And sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And looking forward to your next YouTube video. Okay, that makes sense. So it's all about getting them, the, the KMs under the belt, Alex. How are you, Josh? That is um, quite impressive for a lad your age. I've got a lot of um, computing power, I guess. I think Giacomo mentioned something to do with RAM or something. Um, and my Wi-Fi is decent. Morning, Richard. Normally about five, I reckon. I'm taking two full rest days. So here we go, here's the first effort. Eight hours. See ya. Yeah, since I got ill, I'm valuing I was pushing it a bit too much, in all honesty, um, in the build-up to getting ill. Too many swift races, over and above what Ed was prescribing. Wasn't taking the recovery seriously enough, and maybe that contributed to the illness. So definitely, minimum two rest days. So tr probably on the bike four to five times, but when I am, you know, at least two or three of those will be hard. Do you not have a power meter, Josh? Oh, <laughs> sorry, it's prescribed a lower power. So the next little effort is gonna be a lot harder. I guess it'll replicate the break. You see, no ERG. Save my energy for later. So, changing up through the gears, getting ready for this higher power effort. This is why I like not using the ERG. There's a bit more snap there. Prefer to overshoot the power and then bleed it down. And when we drop to 300, it will feel nice and easy in comparison to this. I hope. And these are very Ed Laverack, these. High power into slightly less disgusting power. Focusing on a pedaling technique, nice circular motion, deep breaths. Loving the prompts on the screen. Heart rate's jumped up, as you'd hope.
yeah, the days off make a big difference, especially as you get older, Richard. Dropping the gears to find the 265. And that feels good. This feels like racing, these kind of efforts. Being dropped by the front group here, not sure why. That's better. You see now, talking's harder, but still possible. And now I'd like to see how quickly the heart rate recovers as I drop the wattage, especially coming back from illness. <laughs> so Scott, I'm going to have a breakaway attempt on tomorrow's showdown between us. Just for warning you, it's an Ed Laverack style breakaway effort that I'll deploy somewhere in the race. They're gonna get the heart rate while we're at tempo here, back into the mid 160s. Really focusing, nice even power, circular pedaling stroke, pushing down and putting back through, filling the air, the lungs full of air, in through the mouth and nose. Letting the jaw drop down a little bit. Trying to stay nice and rigid on the bike. Focusing on quality and efficiency. Okay, so where is Radislaw and Mike? There's Mike, he's ahead of me. And Radislaw's just there. So we're all together, survived the breakaway. <coughs> I'm doing this fasted. Oh, power's too high. On just the amino acids, water, and about 150 milligrams of caffeine. I'm of the view that if you eat enough carbs throughout the day before training, and I do eat a lot of carbs, your muscle stores are full of glycogen, period. Even if I ate a breakfast, that breakfast wouldn't really get into the, the muscle stores for half an hour to 45 minutes at least. And that was if it was kind of liquid carbohydrates. So to my mind, it's optimal to train early in the morning. And when you wake up, your cortisol and adrenaline is high. You have plenty of water, because hydration is important. 
The amino acids prevent the breakdown of muscle and they're nil calorie. And so they are compatible with fasted training. And the caffeine further spikes up the adrenaline and cortisol. And cortisol and adrenaline are critical for the process of liposis, which is converting fat tissue into energy. And liposis is a much harder process for the body to turn on than glycosis. Glycosis is turning carbohydrates stored in the muscle and the bloodstream into energy. And the body will always use glycosis first and then liposis. So by training fasted, the body's burning through the glycogen stores and then quickly, I say quickly, after a half an hour, 45 minutes or so, we'll start burning through the body fat, through liposis. And the caffeine and the cortisol and the adrenaline help that process because you have to break down the fat tissue to create energy. And cortisol and adrenaline are the hormones that break down that fat tissue. Yeah, Radislaw, so far so good. That wasn't too bad, that effort, was it, Radislaw? Old slow. Good morning, sir. And just as no race live stream is complete without Lord of the Statistics, Lord De Lego, no live stream is complete without Old Slow. I have infinite respect for Old Slow. There's nothing slow about Old Slow. He's come back from a stroke and he's still putting down power improvements and progression and killing the climb up out this Zwift. I salute you, sir, you're an inspiration. Coming back from something like that is epic. Funny you mentioned the cream egg, Scott. So here we go, the next effort. The breakaway's caught. So we've been caught, I am the breakaway, and then I'm caught. Well, Radislaw, Mike and I are the breakaway, and then we're caught. I really love this. Everybody sticking together on the training. It really mixes things up, provides a bit of context. I find it really interactive. And I've got a vlog coming out that has the Korberg classic, which I, um, I filmed. And you'll see there, the efforts are really horrid. Lee. Morning to you, sir. How's things going? That's right, Oslo. Always get back up. Get knocked down, stand back up. Get knocked down again, stand back up again. That is so Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get knocked down once, get back up. Get knocked down 10 times, get back up 10 times. Yeah, Radisson, I'm hoping that next week's Swift Classic training is going to be harder because I reckon you'll love one that's similar to that Korberg Classic training. Super tough. You can see here why it's nice not to have the ERG. Really focusing on nice pedaling stroke, using the gears to find the prescribed wattage. And because we're on the flat, that makes life a lot easier. That's why I train a lot on the Tempest Fugit flat. So Scott, I'm hoping this is all gonna warm up the legs, get them ready for our showdown tomorrow where I'm gonna spring a breakaway effort on you. If I can stay with your big power, that is. So 
So we've got a little spike in power coming. You see, if I was on ERG, I wouldn't be able to go above the prescribed power. Martin, Martin of the big power, how are you today? Group training today, race training. <laughs> that was quite hard actually. Very hard. Taking the recovery here. Looking at the power profile. Looks harder. How you going, Radislaw? How you going, Mike? <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be good. Yeah, the riders that can't sprint, trying to get away. That's me. Hey, Simon, join this one next week. It's calibrated to your FTP. Tomorrow, Martin, join us. 9.05, Tempest Fugit Flat. Taking on Scott from KOM TV. Okay. Higher power now. <laughs> Hoping so. You can see, heart rate's high now. Not talking easily, Radislaw. Heart rate 179. <laughs> Very funny, Scott. It's going to be nasty here. 56 seconds, 270. Into 51, 330. Going to stay seated. What's that, Josh? I'm just giving. Are you raising money? Oh, yeah. You're doing a virtual 
John O'Graves to Cornwall, Land's End. I'll support you, sir. Very good idea. Chris, top of the morning to Australia, how are you? No talking now. No one likes riding in the rain. Not even the virtual rain. Yep, I'm following Gilbert. Cheers, Swift. Yeah, this is quite hard. Very clever, Swift. He crept up on me. Chris, Legless Gaming Chris, check out your fellow countryman Scott from Minehead, Australia. Come Hunt TV. You are Australian, aren't you, Scott? Taking the recovery here. You see, these are the prompts I really like. Brings it to life. A sense of panic. Normally that is how I race. With a mild sense of panic through acute sense of panic the whole time. Maximus, top of the morning to you, how are you sir? Group race training on the deck. Radislaw and Mike have kindly joined me. Catching a breakaway here. Little burst of power coming. Focusing on the pedaling technique and the breathing. Stepping up the power. Feeling good, cadence is nice. Focusing on the deep breathing. Mouth wide open. Taking a rest.
starting to feel it right now. Heart rate's high. Bring the cadence down. What's the 295? Two eighty five. Feeling good. There's a, there's a warm down as well, Tim. Well, that was quite a hard one. Yeah, you're damn right the rain jackets are off. Run out of water. And you can see that by turning off ERG, I'm able to push a little harder if I feel capable of that. With ERG turned on, I wouldn't be able to do that. Nice one, Scott. See you tomorrow, 9 a.m. Thanks, Simon. Yeah, that was a difficult segment, Bradislaw. That was difficult. Yeah, thanks, Simon. It's the Bradley Wiggins one. Yes, please, Jane. Oh, sorry, I'm off the front. In all honesty, I think I prefer the kind of the tempo pace to the zone one. It keeps the muscles engaged nicely and, and taut. So now I'll be into fat burning territory because I had about a 15 minute warm up and the body will be converting fat into energy tissue because it's used up the stores of carbohydrates in the muscle and the glycogen in the muscle. Heart rates recovered nicely. That's right, the team car and the DS, all in one, Tim. Wave, Jane. No, you've got to go this side. So feeling good now, this is a nice recovery, but the run in looks quite difficult. I'm gonna try and aim above the prescribed wattages.
We got micro recovery here. And the final assault. Nice one, Giacomo. Enjoy breakfast. Looking forward to your next upload. Morning, Ruben. This is a Zwift Classic race training. If everyone rides to their prescribed power, we all stay together. Join me on this next week, 7.20, Tuesday. It'd be good to have as many people join as possible. It might be the last one next Tuesday. I think it only runs until the end of April. Focusing on the pedaling technique. Nice even distribution of power, circular strokes, big breaths. Here we go, Mike. Here we go, Radislaw. See you on the other side. I find if you focus on the cadence and the technique, the watts will follow. You just fettle the gears. Hi Chris, thanks for joining. This is with Classic Training. It's very good fun. It's a group training. Gears down. Team working hard now, recovering at threshold, or just below, somewhere below. Take the recovery here. Long one now. How's it going, Radislaw? How's it going, Michael?
Yeah, it's good, Chris. Join us next week. Trying to find that nice cadence. Sorry, Jack and May, what was that? Not a fan of ERG, no. No, no, I prefer being able to snap in and out of the intervals. ERG has too much lag. Also, as here, I can go above the prescribed power if I'm feeling good. Yeah, me too, Mike. Always hard over the top of the climb. I'm not sure, Reuben. Not as intense as the Corbett Classic last week. <coughs> Here we go.
So here's the run into the sprint. Everyone's going to be looking at each other. Heart rate's recovering okay. Focusing on the cadence. Enjoying the realization that the hard efforts are past. But wanting to end on quality. Nice one, Mike. Have a good sprint. Have a good sprint, Radislaw. Here's where the wheels fall off for me on the sprint. I've learned from Chris Pritchard not to do a turn. Cheers, Oslo. It's very good of you. Wow, that was good. Sorry, gotta get the bike going again. Wow. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, and Chris, everybody. Rich. Oslo. Agnes. Reuben. Giacomo. Alexander. From Berlin. Mike and Radislaw, Scott, I forgot, apologies, I can't 
Let me see if I can scroll back up, make sure I haven't missed anyone. Tim, Reuben, Josh, Chris from Australia, Martin and Simon. Not Jane, we've only got the one watt bike. Alejandro. Cool. James. Mohammed. Oh. Not my sister, Jolly Flash. She doesn't have a what bike. But let's all meet up for his Rift Classic next Tuesday. I think it's the final event. So long as you've got your FTP right, the whole bunch will stay together. Oh dear. Go back down to, sorry. Pleasure. Yeah, Mike, nice ride. It was a lot of fun actually today, wasn't it? And um, while it looked easier on paper, and I think it was a bit easier, it was still really challenging because you had longer in the kind of uncomfortable power zones of zone four and lower zone five. Thank you, Simon. It's, it's really good fun, this training. Having the group training mixes it all up. Just completed the live stream of the Zwift Classic group training with Radislaw and Mike. We all stuck together. The intervals were harder than expected. The live chat was incredible. I salute everybody in the live chat. Okay, well maybe we can um, find a different uh, day to do it. Nice one, Mike, yeah. Yeah, I was hoping it would be, um, I really enjoyed training with you last week, Mike. And you'll be on the vlog, uh, the next vlog that Chris is about to upload, I guess today or tomorrow. But I think in terms of Zwift trainings, this is one of the most interactive and the biggest fun. And because everybody sticks together, it feels really good. Nice one, Radislaw as well. <laughs> no, Niels. <laughs> You're a bad man, hashtag influencer. Hopefully entertainer. <sighs> yeah, everybody in the vlog, Agnes. Yeah, Niels, you haven't confirmed. Here we go, here's the power profile. You can see. It's quite, um, it's quite spiky. Nice little punch there. Plenty in the red. I went a little bit above the prescribed power settings. There we go. And um, yeah, I definitely feel like I had a great workout, but more importantly, I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the live chat. Let's see if this critical power thing. Yeah, so it's well within my capabilities. Cause my, uh, I think my, where's my one hour? Yeah, one hour power, 490, 294, 295, normalized. It's like, <laughs> of course we didn't go the hour here, did we? Sorry, silly buddy. Yeah, so here, again, well within threshold at the 20 minute level. Um, one minute efforts all well within. And so it's, quite, it's a nice training that gives you a really good workout, gets the heart rate elevated. But hopefully, um, I think to your point, Ruben, 81 training stress. I think anything below 100 is all right. Um, average power, 251. I should be all right to race tomorrow. Speaking of which, Niels, and anybody who wants to join in on the Tempest Fugit flat race tomorrow, 9.05, courtesy of 3R, I'm taking on Scott, um, Scott Hewish from KOM Hunt. He wants to pit his massive power and sprint 
against um, my, well, I guess, watts per kilogram. And so we're going on the Tempest Fugit flat because Scott doesn't like the inclines. You'll see that on Com Hunt TV. He's more of a flat KOM hunter. I didn't even know that flat KOMs were a thing till I watched his channel. As I said earlier, I thought that the smallest kind of KOM was something like Box Hill. But anyway, I've learned something as a result of Scott. So super grateful, Scott. Um, but anybody that wants to join in on the 3R Tempest Fugit flat race, whether you're Cat A, B, C or D, join in. Um, I'm going to race Scott. He said he's going to be in the Cat A. I'm going to try a breakaway attempt. So Niels, having beat me on the Bologna course um, last week very comprehensively, why don't you jump on and live stream um, on your channel? Niels has got a really good um, racing channel, um, Niels Heldens, and you'll see an array of amazing um, Spitfires, um, A10 Thunderbolts, Formula One cars, um, and Lando Norris. Um, Niels has got a bit of a man crush on Lando Norris, um, so check out his channel. But Niels, if you live stream tomorrow, we can have a double header live stream and um, you know see see how we both are in a flat. Niels and I are both probably more um, orientated around the climbing. Anyway, thank you everybody so much for joining. Really appreciated that. Um, hopefully you got a few of my own personal training tips um, and nutrition tips in terms of the fasted training. As I say, we'll try and do one of these either Tuesday or Thursday next week. I'll see what's on the deck and how my work schedule is. But in the meantime, whoever you are and whatever you do, Please remember to live, thrive and stay healthy. Thank you.